J Drone here. What is going on, guys? Potensic Adam. It's been a little while since I threw it up in the air. This is the one with the three axis gimbal. We are going to take it on a little range run. So, we're going to get up to altitude, which we're doing right now. You can see uh, our altitude and our distance will be very visible down at the bottom. You can see distance and height. That's for uh, distance and altitude. Altitude is the height. But we're going to go ahead and start pitching forward here. We will adjust our cramer down slightly, as you can see. It is an adjustable gimbal. That way we can get a little bit clearer image on the ground. And we do also get an antenna warning. Make sure your antennas are properly pointed at your drone. Bottom left corner, you can see a little map right there. If you do have the signal in the best optimal position, you will get that little green. Not the blue like it is now, but you'll get a green like it is now. Kind of got to adjust yourself and get your hands positioned with where the drone is for the best radio control transmission, I guess we were going to say, the best signal. Um, that way you can fly out the furthest. Distance, you can see, is getting up there. Uh, we did fly a little bit past uh, what the what the drone and the app suggested because we were getting a little bit of interference uh, towards the end of this field here, which you will see. But, you know, we got to push the limits. I wanted to go over 5,000 feet, and that's what we ended up doing. Spoiler alert. I believe we went like 540 or something like that, which is just shy of a mile. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. We do new drones. We do old school drones. We do drone models modifications we do other tech stuff we do other reviews we do a little bit of the travel a little bit of the band and stuff we do a lot of things on this channel hit that subscribe button i promise you i've been around for a minute and we're going to be around a lot longer i appreciate everybody that's been subscribed with me for a long time you could see we're starting to get a glitchy transmission right there but you know j drone gotta keep it going gotta keep it going i had a goal i had a goal for this now this might have actually just been something in that general area because as you could see it's gotten pretty clear it's gotten pretty darn clear so there could have been magnetic interference in that general area this is a mining area there are all types of minerals underneath this ground that could be interfering especially high magnetism um you can't even calibrate this thing inside the house properly because it'll tell you there's magnetic interference guys again hit that subscribe button you can see the warnings just keep popping up keep popping up we are almost at that 5,000 mark getting close to that 5,000 mark we are almost there uh and again we definitely definitely hit it we're gonna do a little turn around you get a little bit different view on the way back home a little bit prettier view uh as the sun is setting not optimal time to record any type of video but definitely a great time especially on a summer day where the sun's kind of down it's kind of cooling off just got to fight the bugs the bugs start to come around around this time i was very fortunate we didn't get smoked by too many mosquitoes so take that into mind if you're gonna go out in the woods and fly your drone near sunset they like little vampires them mosquitoes i promise you they come out when that sun goes down i don't know why and they're attracted to your heat and they will smoke you put that bug spray on if you want to fly towards that sunset guys let me know questions comments concerns put it down below this was a mild range run with this drone i will tell you we were so where i am is decreased altitude original takeoff point was decreased altitude and the direction i was flying in was north which we were we were at our max height but as we were flying towards the area that we just did, the ground was getting closer because the elevation gets higher uh, as we're flying north. If I flew south, the ground would get lower because the elevation gets lower if that makes any type of sense whatsoever. As you can see, the ground looks much lower now than what it was back there because we are flying south and we are losing elevation flying south because the elevation drops in this direction if we turn back around and go north it's like climbing a mountain literally we're on the side of a mountain here i promise you and you would be flying in that north direction even though we're maxed out on altitude you'd be flying and the ground would be getting closer because the elevation is rising hopefully that makes some type of sense for y'all guys i'm jay drone again hit that subscribe button i did speed this up times too you can see uh how many mile per hour this thing was moving bottom that bottom orientation uh to the right of the orientation i guess you should say the right of the orientation map by the distance and height uh i did speed this up times too this was around an eight minute video and we got it down to about a four minute video just so you could get into it you could see it. i'm not gonna bore you with an eight minute video j drones right there hit that subscribe button question comments concerns i get at you